It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And up next, we'll get a look at Patrick Mahomes. He's now at not 3,000, not 4,000, but a 5,000-yard season after his last game. It's the Chiefs and the Niners under the lights on Sunday night. From one of the loudest venues in the National Football League, you get a look there at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Coming up, a rematch of Super Bowl 54. As it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And off we go to wrap up this Sunday of action. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they'll be let out by their third-year quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Nifty move. Oh, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. Official foul, roughing the passer, defense. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. And throwing here, Purdy. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught. 11 on the field, those sidelines can become the 12th defender and work to the defense's advantage on that play. Two yards the loss there, now third and 14. We need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic, so I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline, out of bounds, where no one's going to have a chance at it. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And it'll be interesting to see pretty early in this one exactly where his head is because the best quarterback shake off performances like he had last week. Way too many interceptions. Didn't throw a touchdown pass. Team lost the game. Let's see if he can bounce back and get things going in the right direction. He'll be trying to forget those three picks, as you noted. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Now here's Mahomes. No hesitations. They go right back to Kelsey. Four yards the pick up. First down. The Chiefs had 11 and 5 on the year. And Charles, they were losers last time out. What do you think they need to do differently here? I don't think it needs to be as drastic as burning up last week's game tape or not watching it, but 
The attitude has to be what's done is done. Let's move on. Put that one behind them, galvanize themselves, and go forward and get a win in this one. And again, it's Mahomes. Able to shake him off. But now he's swallowed up and taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. We were wondering what they would do defensively to disrupt Patrick Mahomes. Sacking him on the first drive, that's a really good way to set a tone. The last thing you want to do is let him get established in the pocket where he can set his feet and throw wherever he wants to. Even though he does it well on the run and on the move, you definitely want to get him off the spot in the pocket. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. This will be fielded at the 17. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Purdy now to throw off the play action. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they went standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 27. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. This second and four. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 46 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I will being get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? They, let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. There's Purdy on first and ten. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. They their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. They'll get this to Bell. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than so, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. The third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but it was led a little bit too far. Yeah, that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. 
Well, good start for him in this one here in the first quarter, and he's now two for two on field goals. And I know while the offensive coaches are telling their guys, hey, let's leave the kicker out of it unless it's an extra point, this could pay dividends if this game is tight down the stretch. His confidence is going to be sky high if they need him for a big-time kick. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got... Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! Kadarius Tony and all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown! Kadarius Tony is 11th touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for loss yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Purdy now to throw. And that is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And take it right on the 30. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Now a second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Back to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is taken at the 18. 39-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, 
the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to pump then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him stare out at a third and ten. Back to throw, Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Off the option, here's McCaffrey. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 62 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. You talk about this Chiefs defense. They're currently sixth in the NFL in defending the run. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, They've been pretty darn good. Now you've got to figure out a way to slow down those receivers before they get downfield and maybe make a few more plays on the ball when it's in the air. After one, 14-6 our score on EA Sports. Here's a second and eight. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 32. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The Niners on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Purdy. Right there, nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, a pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. Purdy looking to throw. That is caught. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Purdy to throw it on first down. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. Out of the gun, Purdy. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. And this one is right through. And that'll get the lead down to five. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still, they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. 
And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To throw, it's Mahomes. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Now this is just the last thing you want to see in the final week of the regular season. Well, I hope he's okay. We'll step aside and be right back. They go with a shuffle pass, and it's complete. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play... Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and 10. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he's got the hook up to Moore. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient at picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I guarantee you, it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up with a very good play. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs are able to add on to that lead. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Butker now to add the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And throwing here, Purdy. And he's taken down right away at the 39-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. 
Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Give him 32 on the play. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Purdy. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked up by LeJarius Sneed. And the Chiefs are going to have it here just past the 25. A nightmare in the first half for him. And that's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So, nice with the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Second and ten. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to help him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. Looks like he can win every battle. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that one caught by Rice. And he'll be taken down the night before he works it past the 50. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside of the 40. Second down and three. Mahomes now to throw. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Now Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Boy, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. So a big play there on fourth and now first and 10 at the 30. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now here's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep him out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force him into going for three and not giving up six. He finds Moore in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A five-yard touchdown catch as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. 
That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was Sky Moore capping things off with a touchdown reception. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. On third down, here's Purdy. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Purdy will look to throw again here. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Purdy now on second down. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in KC with the Chiefs on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right. In the first half, we saw some strong play from Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We're ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football, and he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance absolutely they've reached the end zone several times the passing game working awfully well and most importantly partner yeah they went to the tunnel with a the lead they come back out with that lead absolutely nfl coaches we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways but they had to like what they saw in that first half throwing on first down but this one winds up to be incomplete so the incompletion and now it's second and ten again from the 25 yard line Mahomes going to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Back to throw here. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. 
they don't want to fall victim to it themselves. On play action, it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And oh, that nearly the first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They get six on the pickup there as the drive continues. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Now back to throw. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. And a nice return sets them up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The 49er offense, they're coming back out onto the field, and we're going to give you a look at the playoff picture now into the weekend in the NFC. And they know the situation that's in front of them. They'll be in the playoffs. That's the good news. But have you seen enough from this team to think that they'd be a threat to do anything in said playoffs? Well, to this point, and I love your question, but I don't think so. Not really. Although, to be fair, I think they'd say the exact same thing. But as a good friend said to me, someone who really understands this league, the playoffs sometimes have a funny way of making ordinary teams extraordinary. So let's watch and see. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Birdie on third down. And he's taken down. A chief set. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. KC's offense ready to take over. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A throw down the field. Caught by his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 23 yards on the play. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That pass complete to Moore. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Second down. 
Hands it off out of the gun. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Throwing now is Mahomes. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Oftentimes when you're losing the game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Mahomes. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. On first down, Purdy. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. Chris Jones, that is one he will remember. It's sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Defenders are always happy anytime they can sack a quarterback for a loss of 10 or more yards. There's an example there. High fives all around. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Back to throw, Purdy. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Now third down and seven. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He's got his running back out of the backfield and out across midfield down to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 83 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten. The Purdy now to throw. Pass incomplete. And the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top ten defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Nick Benito able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. A rough couple of weeks for the man under center. Five sacks last week, four now this week. Do you try to design some quicker developing plays if you're an offensive coordinator? I think you do that. I think you also change his launch point at times. In other words, move your pocket to the right, to the left. Roll him out, bootleg him. Do some different things so they can't just rely on the fact that he's going to take three to five steps back in the pocket and line up and throw the football. Yeah, current formula is not working right now. And his kick is absolutely perfect. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And that flag accepted. Automatic first down. Now, to be frank, a silly penalty there trying to block the field goal, and that leads to a fresh set of downs. Purdy looking to throw. And this is going to fall to the ground incomplete. That very nearly their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. They go play action here, Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. 
A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Purdy, and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. There he goes left side, and he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. Still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. Second and five. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage two yards the loss second and 12 this offense has had a lot to like in this game I don't know that that last play though is going to make the highlight real it's not going to make the highlight real but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through I've sat through those before never any fun you're always excited about your good plays and they actually fast forward through those all right that was good all right great they get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Butker's kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so, and maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field, it's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. And Purdy finds a way to move the chains. He slides to a stop, and he's got the first down. They'll set up a throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. Here's Purdy. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now Purdy. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Oh, boy, Christian McCaffrey shaken up, so hold everything here as they're going to take a look at it. From the 35, here's second down and one. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. That's complete. It's ball. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It's a gain of six. First down, San Francisco. Now it's the fullback. This is Kyle Juszczyk. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 
He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. A throwing here, Purdy. Able to find Willis. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. On the quick handoff, it's used check. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Purdy bootlegging it. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. It's a loss of five there on the sack to bring up second and goal. Purdy. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Leo Chanel. And the Chiefs will take over here at their own 14-yard line. That interception, maybe the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation points, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter than me. Everybody I, knows that. Listen, I go with what you say, my man. <laughs> <laughs> they run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he'll get this up to the 25. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured Chief on the field. Boy, week 18, this is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy. But the medical staff is going to have to take a look here. And we'll step aside. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And after the good gain last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I mean, but what a second half, the adjustment. Whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Kansas City, they finish off the regular season at 12 up and 5 down. And now they'll await the final seeding for the playoffs ahead. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, it's a tough loss to take as they'll finish things off at 9 and 8. But they've got better days in their future. Of that, you can be sure. 
And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.